Let's do fingers into the pads of the palms, stretch up breath of fire.
draw the thumbs together, stretch the fingers. Powerful breath. We're gonna really move the body, so you wanna really get the spine nice and warmed up. stretch up hold the breath tip of the tongue roof of the mouth exhale pull the navel squeeze squeeze the butt press into the ground inhale and exhale Thirty-six minutes and three seconds. You ready? We're not going to take many breaks. We're just going to uh, go right through it. Okay? This is what he says. This is really, really interesting. And Hudman Jot, um, the sweet, dear, beautiful woman, um, she went back into the archives today and uh, rewrote the Kriya so we have it is is as. Ex accurate as we possibly can have it. So now we have our own write-up. So this is, it's even just a little tweaked from what we did the other day. But he says, when metabolism starts goofing out, things go bad in spite of everything, and it creates a lot of discouragement. 
So, you know, th this may not be your particular experience, but for, you know, many people, especially if you're over 36 or 40, um, which isn't many of you, uh, although we're yogis, you can't quite tell, but when you get, you know, the, the life cycles, metabolic shifts happen, and it's quite discouraging, no matter what you eat or what you do, you know? So this is a, this is a, a, a healer. Okay, we ready? We are going to begin to swim, like with some real vigor, please. So, like this. And breathe. Exhale, and now come up onto all fours. It's the feet and the hands, please. So you're onto your feet and your hands, all fours. It's like a, not a um, wide triangle pose. And begin to jump, 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 jump. 
So your feet are a little closer to your hands than what you guys are doing. You know, you're just like, yeah, that's it. Jump, jump, jump. The legs are straight, and both the hands and the feet come up at the same time and jump. a break you just take the forward bend and take a break and come back in no big deal you're breathing through the nose, yogic exercise, just take a break when you need to. the race here we got two minutes
30 seconds. Okay, sit down. Now quickly, like you're going through thick water, swim. Swim again, but go through thick water this time. down inhale and lie down now cat stretch right and left and left and right quick set and reset the sacrum onto your belly. Come right onto your belly, please. Grab the ankles and begin to breathe. Tongue out the mouth, add the breath, and rock the spine. Rock the rock on the belly. Tongue out the mouth. So you're moving that breath in and out the mouth. and breathe and breathe.
power the breath through the mouth, out the tongue, in the tongue. Less than a minute. out the mouth, really power the breath. Okay, okay, stop. Come up onto the feet in the hands, please. Same thing, but this time we're galloping like horses, and he said he, want, he wanted to hear the sound of the galloping. So opposite foot, opposite hand, and gallop. Go. Opposite hand, opposite foot, feet are close to the hands, you're galloping. It's like you're dancing, you're going, 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 going. Your feet are closer to your hands than some of you. It's almost like a, you know, kind of forward bend. Opposite foot, opposite hands. Come on, the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain. to your back and just take a moment inhale exhale now stretch the arms towards the toes and the feet six inches off the ground for stretch pose breath of fire
squeeze the inner thighs together, power the breath. You're looking at your toes, eyes are open. Just one more minute of exertion, the rest of it is very meditative, so give it your all. And exhale and very good turn into baby pose please forward to the ground palms up and next to your body so come up and over all the way to the baby pose now let this change happen in the frontal lobe please long deep breath put yourself in a nap quick five minute nap
Let now lie down flat, quick, grab your pair. Put it in the hands and raise them up to the ceiling. You're on your back. Lie down flat, quick, up, one, two, three, up. Put your fruit in your hand and put it up straight.
hands up, sit up, slowly, slowly, straight hands, sit all the way up, and continue to offer the prayer. Arms straight in front of the body, still holding the fruit. Offer it to the unknown to bestow the healing energy and concentrate your whole prayer. This is interesting. Can listen while we go. He says, We're going to continue with the pea fruits. Spring is coming, you know, the spring. Try to eat as much pea things, pea nuts, fruit. What is it? How many things are on pea that start with a pea? See, this wasn't in the original write up. So, vegetables that start with a pea, pea nuts, pistachio. What else? Any other pea nuts? pumpkin seeds he said it's so funny the next thing he says is pizza is not included <laughs> good try though um, try to avoid eating in the evening and try to eat the fruit in the evening so actually you can eat fruit in the evening so we're learning some things here the month of February and March and you will be very different you will be totally different and this set of exercise which we have done today you should do it every day at home if you want to have a good summer good health in spite of your age and your deficiencies and all the sins you have committed in the past He says here you can eat the fruit in the evening, but other food you can't. So that's a that's a new hot off the press here. But you know the teachings are hidden in plain sight. This is why we're very interested here at Rama Institute for Applied Yogic Science and Technology to you know do our best to do you know kind of be as accurate as possible. So 
we've, we've learned something new today, which is that you can actually eat the pea fruits at night too. It's nice. It's good for the liver to eat a little bit of fruit at night. It's good for liver functioning. Good, you guys look good. Best fruit you've ever had? Bring the palms together, please. Okay, very, very good job. I'll be here tomorrow morning for my last class before uh, we go to Nicaragua, so um, we'll do this set. So then you'll have two days under your belt. Um, and then uh, we'll be back on the 26th. I'm gonna do a, a special um, workshop on the 26th as an introduction to the sex teachings. Very excited about it. Um, so we'll do, we'll, we'll start to kind of roll out these sex teachings because everybody needs to get more conscious about sex. Everyone's really messed up. Have you noticed? Yep. Satnam.